YouTube, what's going on? KT Medic here, and today is the weekly vlog. It's a little bit late. We were real busy over the weekend getting stuff ready at the house. We had to do a little bit of laundry, or a whole lot of laundry. Actually, it took us like a whole day. We just kind of wash what we need to, and I basically just wear work shirts and work pants and wash those every week or two because I have quite a few I don't have to wash them every week so it's not a huge deal but we wanted to get everything cleaned up and picked up in the bedroom so our dogs kind of come back in and not have to stay outside all the time but they like to chew on things so we had to get the get the floor cleaned up a little bit and stuff like that so we were pretty busy over the weekend but I have a bone to pick with some people, and that is fast food people. The people that make the food. I don't know what to call them exactly. Their job is not that difficult, and I, I'm i not hating on fast food people at all. I'm not hating on having a job as a fast food worker. But if you do have one, and you do work in fast food, can you please learn how to make a hamburger? I swear. A hamburger is not complete without hamburger meat. Okay, McDonald's. This is this was actually a long time ago. This only came up because we went to a steakhouse, my wife and I, both of us, one night, to kind of celebrate my wife getting a new job. And this was recent. This was like last week. So we sat down, we ordered our steaks, we ordered on medium well. And we got them. She started sticking hers with her fork to cut it and see how it was cooked. And I noticed that it was really soft. And she noticed this as well, about the same time, maybe a little before I did. And then I checked mine and we both cut them open. And our steaks were basically raw on the inside. And I think the the cook was new or something. And I'm pretty sure they cook their steaks on time. They don't do it by temperature or they might do it by feel. I know there's a couple tricks that you can do by feel to cook a steak. One is with your hand. This is rare if you touch this part of your thumb with your other hand. Open is rare. Um, medium rare. Medium. Medium well. Well done. And basically your muscle just gets tighter and that's about how the steak should feel for those doneness levels of steak cooking. So, we get our steak and it's, it's basically raw in the middle. This is past rare. It is not even rare at this point. It's blue rare, and it is pretty disgusting. So, we get the server back over there, and she takes them back. They re or they cook them longer. They don't have to recook them because they didn't cook them too long. They just didn't cook them long enough. And throw them on the grill for a little bit longer, and everything turns out great. Tasted great after we got them recooked. So it wasn't a huge deal, it was just kind of an inconvenience. And if you're gonna be a cook at a steak restaurant, you would think that you should probably know how to make a steak or cook a steak to certain doneness levels and probably not below rare. But it was kind of a strange experience and then I remembered my McDonald's experience from a while back and I had a hamburger without a hamburger patty and it just, it amazes me at how the food industry gets by with some of these things. And I know mistakes happen and it's all good, but it's annoying, honestly. Like, I'm expected to do, to do my job at a certain level and a certain standard, and I try my best to do that. There are times that that doesn't happen and, you know, mistakes are made. So. It's not a huge deal. It is a little bit annoying, but everybody made it out alive. We got our food cooked, everything turned out okay. But another thing that really bothered me lately 
uh, the past few weeks, I needed some lights for my work truck. And we use a certain shop for certain things here. And I'm not gonna name names or anything like that, but I told them three weeks ago, stop by, they got the numbers and everything they needed so they could order the lights that I needed. I was going on call the next week. So I wanted to get my lights in, I needed a headlight. So I wanted to get my headlight fixed because I knew I was gonna have to work overnight when I was on call, and I did. So I could get my headlight and be safe and everything like that. So the rest of that week go, goes by. I figured it'd take probably a couple days if they had to actually order something from maybe not in town. So gave them the benefit of the doubt. Now the next week came and I called him about the middle of the week and he said that he had ordered them but something didn't come in so he would have to reorder it and he would call me back. Another week goes by, or a week and a half, and I call him this morning and I ask if my lights are in, if if he's heard anything, whatever, because I haven't heard anything. And he tells me that he has not ordered anything in three weeks, has not ordered anything. He can order them today and have them here in the next couple days. Like that was okay, that he just forgot for three weeks. And I reminded him in the middle of all this. And this is basically one of our, we're probably their biggest corporate account that they have. So that's just completely unacceptable. And not that, that we're, a, we're better than anybody because we're a corporate account, but just that your business is run that way and I know people get busy, mistakes get made. That's why after a week or a week and a half, I called and I was like, hey, are these ordered yet? No, okay, get them ordered. I mean, that's that's simple. So we gave up on that, went to another shop. I was done in two hours, completely done. I have lights and everything. I was completely done in two hours. So we're just gonna go there from now on and enjoy the rest of our day. So. I just pulled up here at the store, actually I stopped in the parking lot to finish, ranting about this and the craziness of fast food and how hard their job is. And I'm not hating on anybody, again, I love you for working fast food because if you didn't, I couldn't get my hamburgers and chicken and stuff like that, so you're really my best friends, but take pride in your work, that's all I have to say. If you do it, make sure you do it to 110%, and if you don't like doing it, do something else. I mean, I know you need money. Everybody needs money. Just remember that money's not everything and there's a lot bigger things in the world than money. So try and do what you love. Get there. It takes a lot of work sometimes and sometimes you have to do things you don't like. So just remember that. I mean, if you're doing something, make sure you do it to your full potential and everybody enjoy your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. I will see you next time. As always, I'm KT Medic, and I'm out.